friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a lot different than anything I've ever done and I feel like I say that quite a lot. Sorry for the random placement of the camera. This is not my usual setting. I'm currently in New Jersey. If you have Instagram, you know who Alexis Ren is. If you don't know who she is, she's literally like a goddess. She is literally so stunning. She's most known for her body. She literally has over, I think 11 million followers now. It's because of how pretty she is, how in shape she is, and just like, she's just perfect human being. I thought it would be a really cool experiment to try to dive it like her for one week because if you know me I am a very picky eater and I'm also a really bad eater so I thought it'd be a good idea to try and diet like her for a week and see if I could do it these were the rules of dieting like her no bread because she's gluten-free no fast food no alcohol no red meat she does eat other meats but just not red meat no eating after 7 p.m. not a lot of sugar lots of fruit kale chips which by the way spoiler alert i didn't have any kale chips salads veggie burgers just stuff like that it went well what i noticed from this experience was i actually didn't eat very much just because i wasn't sure what i was allowed to eat like i don't know what gluten-free means like i have no idea but i tried my best i actually did stick to it i never cheated actually i think i cheated once yeah i cheated once it's because i didn't know that pancakes were gluten i know i probably sound so stupid to like healthy people but for the first day for breakfast i had bananas with cheerios and soy milk I don't know if what kind of milk she drinks, but I had soy milk because it just sounds healthy and it tasted really good. So what I did first was I just put Cheerios, then I got the milk, and then I got bananas, cut them up, and it tasted really, really good. I was actually really surprised, and I actually had it a few more times this week, as you're gonna tell. Another rule of Alexis Ren is she actually drinks two liters of water every single day, which wasn't an issue for me. I love water. I actually cut out soda, so I've only had water for the past like two weeks now. I've noticed that it actually made my skin a lot better. For dinner, I got organic chicken, whatever that. That means peas and corn and mashed potatoes again I just want to point out a disclaimer I don't know if any of this stuff is part of her diet but it's what I knew and I've seen pictures of her eating stuff similar so I thought I would just try that so I cooked it myself so grilled chicken peas and corn and mashed potatoes absolutely amazing this was a really difficult thing because I don't know if this was the first or the second day but I went to a concert with my dad there were pretzels and my sister was working there and like she was like oh here's some pretzels and M&Ms and just take whatever you want I was like I can't. I wanted one so bad, but I didn't do it. I couldn't. And I regret it so much to this day. So the next day for breakfast, I had yogurt, like an organic yogurt thing. Let's just say it didn't go well. I tried it and it was so horrible. So I did not eat it. I just threw it out. So instead, I went with my usual and I had the Honey Nut Cheerios meal again because it's just really good and it's really good for you. Then for lunch, I went to a deli and I was like, okay, I can't have bread. So I can't have any sandwiches. So I saw this thing. It was balsamic chicken mixed with a bunch of leaves and tomatoes and stuff. And so I got that and it was surprisingly like really expensive. It was like seven dollars for like this much it was okay but it wasn't my favorite i probably wouldn't get it again i'm gonna say i got a gluten-free snack pirate booties for anybody who knows who those are because i was afraid i wasn't gonna like it and i was going on a road trip so i was like i'm gonna have to eat something so i got those but i actually did like the balsamic chicken it wasn't bad but what was bad was that day i went to see my sister in connecticut and there was all these good food places and i couldn't get it there was chick-fil-a there was mcdonald's there was like all these good places i really wanted to go but i didn't go to get them instead I just had was kind of put off it I don't know why but I had my favorite meal chicken teriyaki with rice and a little bit of lettuce but again it really wasn't the best the next day I was working so I didn't really have time to film what I had for breakfast but for breakfast I just had grapes and watermelon because you can't go wrong with fruit and that's part of her diet then for lunch I had balsamic chicken again with mashed potatoes and lettuce and it was really bad so I barely ate and I ended up going to the gym after that and then I didn't even have dinner so not actually very healthy to not eat but that's what I did because I like didn't know what I could eat and it was already past 7 p.m. So I was freaking out because I can't eat past 7 and it was just so hard I went to the gym right after having that meal and you know, I did okay Oh, and that's another thing with her diet is you have to work out five to seven days a week Which I did do I did five because I actually ran out of time I didn't have much time during the week I had a lot of things I had to do but I actually do go to the gym anyway So it really wasn't difficult for me the next day. I had grilled chicken again with my mashed potatoes and the, the peas and corn, but again, it didn't really taste very good. So I didn't really eat it. I did have a little bit of it, and which is kind of good because she does have a lot of small portions, and I feel like it was kind of a big portion. Then I was like, what should I do for dinner? So I went to the organic section. Some man just helped me pick stuff out because I don't know what I'm doing in the healthy section. I don't know what half of this stuff means. Quinoa? He told me what quinoa is. I had no idea what that was. 
actually made a friend who tried to help me find all this stuff. And he's like, why don't you get quinoa? And I'm like, what the heck is a quinoa? And I didn't know what to get. I was gonna try and make mac and cheese, like a gluten-free kind of thing, but I couldn't do it. So for dinner, I created my own acai bowl kind of thing. But the bad thing is I don't like acai. So instead, I got healthy yogurt, like the Greek yogurt, Chobani yogurt, with bananas, strawberries, blueberries, I couldn't find any granola, but I wanted to put in granola, but it was good enough without it. The next day, again, I was working, so I didn't have time to really have a good breakfast, so all I had was grapes, which is good, it's fruit, and that's part of the diet, so I had grapes for breakfast. And then for lunch, I didn't know what to do, so I was like driving around, like, where can I get food? Like, I've had yogurt, I've had like the grilled chicken, what do I get? So I went to Boston Market, and just a disclaimer, every time I go to Boston Market, I get my mac and cheese there, and I didn't get my mac and cheese. They're just so hard. Instead, I got white meat chicken with mashed potatoes and corn, very similar to my others, but it was just so good. So for the next day, again, I know this is gonna sound so bad, but I had that meal again with the Cheerios because it's so good and they're gluten-free. It's all part of our diet, like I said. So I had that again. For dinner, I had a smoothie, but I forgot to film it. So that was that. I didn't break the rules of eating after seven. I think it was the next day where I had pancakes. Yes, I did it. I had to have pancakes because I was so hungry. Like I said before, I didn't know that there was gluten in it. I don't really know what that means if I'm gonna be honest. And then later on I had a protein bar and that was it. I actually did see a little bit of a difference. My waist didn't like completely go in like hers, but I did see a little bit difference of more toning. It was much easier when I went to the gym where afterwards I looked really, really toned. It was like a lot more defined after eating like this and drinking all that water and all that. Yeah, I would say that it was actually pretty successful and it was a lot, a lot of fun doing it, but I don't think I'm gonna do it again. But I think it is pretty interesting to, to try and eat like her for a week, which was, you know, fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to add me on Snapchat, Monica263, and on Twitter and Instagram, at Monica Gartner. And if you are new here, then welcome to the family. And yeah, so Alexis, if you're watching this, please teach me your ways and continue being you. Bye, guys.